deployment pipeline using Spinnaker. In this lecture, we'll be altering the necessary configuration files, install the AWS CLI, we will be deploying a DBM package, create a pipeline to deploy this DBM package using Spinnaker and AWS. This DBM package contains the demo application, which can be found under the InfoIT's GitHub page. In the lecture about integrating Jenkins with Spinnaker, we will show you how this DBM package is built and served using S3. As we are focusing on the pipeline part here, we're just going to upload it to S3 using the AWS CLI and let our pipeline pull it from there. So let's get started and let me show you how to build your first pipeline on AWS using Spinnaker. So let's get started by going to the SSH console of our Spinnaker machine on DigitalOcean. Okay, first log in as root on our machine. I'm going to switch user to Ubuntu. Then we're going to navigate to our course directory. And we're going to navigate to artifact. As you can see, here's the artifact. First, let's start by installing AWS CLI. I'm going to do that by sudo apt get install AWS CLI. And when this is finished, we're going to do AWS configure dash dash profile default. And we're going to fill in the AWS access key here. So I'm first going to copy paste it. Then I'm going to fill in the secret key. Default region name is US East. One and for the output, I'm just gonna leave it to default. Now we can use the AWS CLI. Now we're gonna be installing Unzip. And when this is installed, we're gonna do unzip artifact.zip. And there you go, we have created an artifact directory. Now we're going to sync this directory to S3. I'm going to do it AWS S3 sync this directory to S3. And now we're going to look up the path of the directory which we created earlier. Going to the console to S3. And we're going to upload it to this directory. So we're going to copy paste it. There you go. And then we're going to upload it. This command will sync all the files in this directory to the S3 bucket. As you can see here, this is why we are all doing this. So we have a Debian package with a demo app inside of it. So let's check it out in S3. Let's refresh this page. Here you go. So we've uploaded a demo app Debian package. All right. Now let's make this Debian package public. So you select the Debian package, make public, success. Now let's head back to the root of our S3 bucket. Go to dist, xenile, main, and make this directory also public. Make public. There you go. Now we have set up the necessary permissions. Now, since we got the Debian package in place, let's go to EC2 and add two security groups. One is to allow external traffic to hit the demo app. And one is to internally allow communication from the ALB to the EC2 instance. So we go here and we go to security groups. Let's select create security group. I'm going to give it a name, demo app EC2. For description, we're going to give it the same name Two. Make sure the correct VPC is selected, which is the case here. Protocol TCP, port range, gonna allow port 3000. 
I'm going to only allow it for internal traffic. Let's create it. Now we're going to create a second security group. I'm going to call this demo app ALB. The security group is to allow inbound web traffic on the ALB from everywhere. I'm going to call this demo app ALB. Make sure the correct VPC is set. I'm going to add a rule. You can use custom TCP rule, but in this case, let's just take HTTP port 80. I'm going to allow it from anywhere. All right, now our security groups are set up. Let's head back over to our DigitalOcean machine and alter the necessary configuration files. So first up, let's start by copying the rosco.yaml file. Roscoe is actually a bakery that is used for Spinnaker to produce machine images. It supports Google Cloud Engine images, AWS AMIs, and Azure images. And it relies on Packer to actually build those images. So now let's start editing the file. So I'm going to open the file. I'm going to change the configuration directory. I'm going to add our Debian repository. So it's able to locate the package. Make sure you have the name right because this is my S3 bucket. Then we're going to set AWS to true. And then here under the base images, we're going to set a new image, the Ubuntu Xenile image. So we copy pasted it. Depending on in which region you're deploying, this AMI can be different. There's an easy way to look this up. So when you go to this URL, cloud images, ubuntu.com locator slash ec2 you can easily type xenile us east one and then you will get a list of all the ami ids of that ubuntu version so in this case we'll be using this one it's hvm the virtualization method and it's using ebs ssd so that's correct i'm gonna leave all these things to default the username is always ubuntu for an ubuntu image the spot price I'm going to just ignore that as we're not using spot prices at this moment. And now we're just going to save this file. Then we're going to go to our Spinnaker course directory. We go to scripts. We're going to deploy Spinnaker again. After this is done, we're going to restart Spinnaker to make sure it's in the correct state. Now I'm going to restart it. As we altered the Roscoe component, make sure it started. Like if you made a configuration error in the configuration file, Roscoe is unable to start, so you know where to pinpoint it. So we're going to do systemctl. Status. Roscoe. And as you can see, it's active and it's running. So now let's head over to Spinnaker. Let's create a new application. Demo app. I'm going to fill in my email address here. .io. The instance port is 3000. So this is the port where the application is listening on. Create the application. There you go, we've created our first application. Now let's create a load balancer. Gonna use an application load balancer, ALB. 
my AWS account. This is correct. This is correct. I'm gonna assign it to correct security group, the ALB, which we created earlier. This is to allow traffic on port 80 from anywhere in the world. So everybody's able to hit the load balancer, and which then serves the traffic to the EC2 instance. I'm gonna call it target group. The packet connection is on port 3000. The health check. Let's put it on 3000 as well, slash. So you just see that it gets HTTP traffic when declaring an instance healthy or not. And let's create it. Okay, we got our load balancer now. Now let's head over to pipelines. Figure new pipeline. Demo app. Create a pipeline. Gonna add a stage. So we're gonna bake an AMI first with the DBM package included. This bake will use the configuration file of Roscoe, which we altered earlier. Gonna do bake. As bake is the first step in our pipeline, we're just gonna leave this empty because it doesn't depend on anything. So the package we're gonna be installing is node demo app. And we're gonna save changes. Now we're gonna add another stage. The actual deploy. So this needs to depend on bake so that it's actually able to deploy something. So I'm gonna add a server group. So it's my AWS account, just East one. VPC is external. I'm gonna select strategy. I'm gonna take Highlander. I'm gonna select the target group where it needs to deploy to. I'm gonna select the security group, which is the EC2 one. As instance type, we're just gonna use the micro utility. Nano, number of instances one. Automatic availability zone balancing is enabled. I'm gonna select the key name, which we created earlier in this course. The base IAM role, we also created earlier in this course. And then we're gonna add this stage. Now our pipeline is complete. Let's save it and test it out. Start manual execution. Run. You can click this bar to see what it's actually doing. So let's view the details. So it found the image ID, the default Ubuntu, and it's starting Packer. Now it's waiting for the instance to become ready. After waiting some time and refreshing a couple of times, you can see he got the Node demo app from our repository on S3. Let's check the build stage. So it created an AMI with this identifier and this AMI ID. So now he's waiting for the AMI to become ready. As you can see now, the build EBS is finished. So the image is created with this image ID. I'm gonna copy paste it for now. Now let's head back over to the demo app and look how the deploy is going. So when you go to EC2, AMIs, and you look for this AMI ID, you can find back the AMI. So this is the one Roscoe actually created using Packer. Now let's see how the deployment is going. Go to EC2 dashboard, running instances, See, there's one instance running. It's initializing still, so it's not accessible yet. So let's wait for a couple of minutes for it to be online. So our deployment is finished. So let's go to EC2, load balancers. Let's select the DNS name of our load balancer and surf to it. Congratulations, you just 
finished your first pipeline in Spinnaker. Pretty exciting, right? But this is only the start. It's a very powerful tool. So let's see what else it can do. Congrats.